Welcome back, this is Dynamic Variables Part 5. We're going to be talking about creating your own Dynamic Variable Logics nodes for more varied data types, etc. Let's get going and I'll talk about what this problem is like and uh, we'll see how to fix it. If I pivot here into Smooth POV and I pull out my uh, Logics tooltip here and go to the node browser and then I go to Variables. Now the same thing here applies to any of these nodes, so we're just going to focus on one. We'll focus on my favorite Dynamic Variable Input. Um, like I said, it applies to everything. You'll see that there's a list of types here and it kind of sort of ends at the bottom here with color slot user. This isn't actually all of the data types that you can use the dynamic variable system with or the dynamic variable nodes with, but to use other data types, you'll need to create your own dynamic variable nodes to um, use those other data types. This is very similar to a previous video I did where we do it for dynamic uh, impulse receivers with values. Those need to be created as well. From that video, you might re uh, remember that I also talked about how I had a public folder with a lot of those pre-created for you because I use them all the time. Um, there is also one that I'm starting to create for dynamic uh, variable nodes, um, and I'll show you that just after we've created one. But let's get on to creating one. So I'm going to go ahead here and grab my uh, developer tooltip here, and I'm going to go to create new empty object. Once an empty object is created, we need to do uh, a very similar process to that dynamic uh, impulse receiver one that I talked about, which is we attach the component for the node that we want to create. So in this case, I'm going to go to attach component. We go to logics and we scroll down to variables and then it's here. Any of these should work with the same system. Like I said, I'm only going to be focusing on dynamic variable input, but it should work with all of them. So there you are, dynamic variable input T. Once this is created, scroll to the top. You can actually scroll through this list as well. Sometimes there might be uh, different things on this list which aren't in the node menu. For example, I don't remember seeing time span, but it might have been there. Um, but if you don't have the variable here that you're trying to use, or the value type that you're trying to use, you can type it here, just like the dynamic impulse receiver uh, video. So one that I needed the other day, uh, and something I was creating for someone uh, with someone else, was an avatar anchor uh, dynamic variable. So we can do that by typing in i avatar anchor. And that says dynamic variable input i avatar anchor there. And we click that, and then we've got the component here created. Now, um, as a reminder here, uh, logics is just components. So uh, this is the component for a dynamic variable input of an i avatar anchor. And you'll see it has an active visual property here, which is set to null. Um, that means that the node doesn't really look like a node right now, but there's an easy way to fix that. Just re equip a logics tooltip here. There we go. Having trouble getting to my tooltip there for some reason. Um, and then we will grab the word empty object here, open up the hand menu and go to unpack. With that done, you'll see that everything created itself and that we've now got a dynamic i avatar anchor variable node. You'll see that the output is an avatar anchor. If I pull this out, you'll see it's null right now, but that will then work. You can go ahead and then save this to your inventory, use it within a project or whatever you'd like of it, it will now work. I do recommend before you're saving it though, um, renaming it from empty object, otherwise it'll end up in your inventory as empty object. So I, I usually just call this dynevar, and then I usually put a bracket here, and I put avatar anchor like that. And then I can go ahead and save this. I'll show you where I'm saving them. Uh, this is a folder within my uh, public folder called logics. So, uh, let me turn on private UI here so you can see where we're going. In private UI here, I'm in my uh, uh, public folder, and within there, there's a folder called logics, and within this folder, there is now a new folder called dyn vars, or dynamic variables, um, and if we go inside here, you'll see I'm starting to create a collection of them. I will go back and regenerate the thumbnails after I'm done um, sort of playing around with them a little bit to make them a little bit clearer, but you can also just click them and they're quite clear. So this is read dynamic variable material. That is uh, dynamic variable input uh, with a sprite. That's very good for UX stuff. There's a, again, read dynamic variable for sprite, write dynamic variable for sprite, and input anchor, which is the one that I just created here. Uh, so do take a look in my public folder and take a look at these. If you've got any more that uh, you'd like me to include in this folder, do uh, give them to me. Um, to illustrate the uh, similarity here, if you go to my dynamic receivers folder, you'll see there's a bunch here that were recreated recently by myself for the updated logic schedules and uh, for a thumbnail that kind of lined up nicely. So I don't think I made a, an avatar anchor dynamic impulse receiver, but it might be somewhere along here. Uh, might be that one or that one. No, that's user. That's date time. URI ref ID. There's uh, quite a lot in here, etc. It's uh, exactly the same concept for um, for both of those, just a different component type. Um, that will work with any of the other components. Um, so I won't be showing you those. Uh, if you have any troubles with this, do let me know. This is a pretty advanced topic uh, when you start getting into sort of more complicated variable types. You might need to not need to you know, use it or come across it, but the video is here if you need it. I will uh, see you next time.
will be going on to other stuff. Bye-bye.